All right, Scott. All right, Pierre. All right, Mocker. All right, Biggin. All right, Big Chat. All right, Boss. All right, Chief. All right, Big Man. All right, Wee Man. All right, Big Fella. All right, Wee Fella. All right, Ya Rocket. All right, Ya Rosta. All right, Ya Dafty. All right, Ya Maddy. All right. All right. <laughs> I think I'll just head. <laughs> Jamie! Jamie! I've turned the red rocks, Jamie! <laughs> Who did this to you? The corner. I was wanting for him selling the drugs to people that had turned to the drugs. <laughs> and then I turned to the drugs. <laughs> if I don't pay him back, he swore me on his mammy's grave, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> I can see the virgin me! <laughs> Where are the drugs? I swear my mammy's grave, if he's come to the drugs, I'll... Your debt? Yeah, I swear my mammy's grave. No son of mine will be in debt to a drug dealer. I'm taking that debt on, and I swear on Fraser's grave. You can't swear on a grave that's not been dug yet. He might get cremated. Then I swear on my mammy's grave. If you try to turn my son to the drugs, I'll kill you. No, I swear on my mammy's grave, I'll kill you. I swear on my mammy's grave, and your mammy's grave. Well, all the mammies and all the graves! <laughs> Dad. I'm sorry I've ever bought you that kelp with a Virgin Mary on it. But don't worry. You'll not have to look at my face for much longer. The corner! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got to promise me, son. You promise me you won't ever... Promise me you won't ever turn... Promise me you won't ever turn to the... <laughs> what was he going to say? <laughs> I'll never know! I'll never know! I can't believe I forgot my phone. I've not got a clue what time it is. I'm going to be late for the wane. I could ask the lassies the time. No, can't do that. Grown man talking to schoolgirls on the bus. It'll look well sus. Oh, brilliant. Now she thinks I was looking at her. Did you see that mad pedo on the bus? <laughs> oh dear. Listen to yourself. This is you buying into all this suspicion and paranoia about men in society. Don't let them do it to you. You're just a guy that needs to know the time. Oh, that's your card marked as a pervert now. Both of them think you were looking at... No. No, they don't. They don't. Look, you've got a Wayne. Show them a picture of the Wayne, then ask them the time. You're all right if you've got a Wayne. What are you doing, you nut job? Do you want to see my Wayne? Do you want to see some puppies, girls? A grown man does not approach an unknown schoolgirl for any reason, and that's it. Even if it's just to ask the time. <sighs> Oh, this is mental. You're going to be late for the wane. Find out the time. Excuse me. Jackie King, BBC Bannis and Snare the Beast. What were you just about to do? I was just going to ask the time. You were just going to ask the time. You, a stranger, were going to approach two schoolgirls. I've got a wane. I've got a wane. <laughs> Textbook answer of the beast. I think society's had its fill of this monster. Beast wrangler. Snare the beast. <laughs> Men were all beasts. Watch us get snared one by one. Oh man, BBC Berniston. 
Oh, mate, this is us just getting ready to go out clubbing tonight. Here, mate, what age would you say we were? Nah, you don't even need to answer that, mate. Nah, we look about 27 max, but, uh, but we're a wee bit older. Aye, all right, Des, there's nothing to elaborate, right? If they think we're 27, they think we're 27, all right? Oh, oh aye, 27 max, man, easy. I mean, some people say there's an age limit in clubbing and all that, right? But that's garbage, man. My daughter talks a lot of shit. Teenagers, eh? Aye, all right, Des, no need for all the details. All our mates are about 21, man. <laughs> aye, we, we all went to teen at park last year, man. Oh, for some laugh, it was magic wild. Well, aye, me and Gary have been going to teen at park for about 20 years now. Aye, all right, Des, you don't need to gear them all the sums today, for God's sake. To get, get these pre club drinks done, you go. Look here. Pre club drinks, huh? Bet you didn't think guys for our era would know about pre club drinks. <laughs> Did he just say era? Did you just say era? Saying we come for an era, what, we're a couple of mad dinosaurs or something? Sorry, I keep forgetting, mate. Forgetting things now? You're making it sound like a couple of old absent-minded professors here. I said, get the sounds on, Des. Get the sounds on. Get the sounds Hurry on. Hurry up, get the sounds on. Get the sounds on, man. Come on. on. What's oh, right? 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 Oh, Hold on a minute here. Look at our wee pinkies. Buck sick is this? This is starting to look more like that. Pinky bar, Joe. Aye, hold on a bucking minute here. Hey, Lord Gladstone. Aye. Is this or it? Better. Excuse me. I said, is this one of the I don't... I don't understand what that is. Son! Is this... Or is this no one of the... Places? The truth! It's a wine bar. <sighs> Buck! I knew it, Joe. I knew it in my heart. It's a wine bar. Buck! It's a bar. For wine! Joseph! Son! Is it just all your standard red wine? White wine! In between the colour of wine, there's all a bucking pinky pal. We serve a wide selection of wine varieties. None of the varieties next, Joe! Paying good money for a bucking variety. My blood's up, Joe! Could you please be quiet? We're trying to enjoy a quiet Cabernet Sauvignon over here. A Cabernet A Cabernet Sauvignon. A Cabernet A Cabernet Sauvignon. A Cabernet A Cabernet Sauvignon. A Cabernet. Aye, I'll be having Cabernet Mary. This shit smell like. Morn! Oh, that's actually quite nice, sir. What is that? It's a Chateau Neuf. Aye, a fucking cheeky bastard. I'm here on Joe! The floor is yours. I'd like to talk about certain standards of decorum. I feel that members oh, have been... Oh, sit in your ass. Don't start, Archie. Archie, don't start. Davy, you sit in your ass, I know. You sit in your ass, you clown. I'm already sitting on my ass, Davy. Apologies, George. Please carry on. Yes, decorum. I feel like certain members have been... Sit in your ass. You sit in your ass. You sit in your ass. Archie, sit on your ass. Sit in your ass. Oh, sit in your ass, I pair of you. Archie, sit on your ass. Sit on your ass. George, you sit in your ass and I'll sit you on your ass. Archie, sit on your ass. Davy, I can handle this. Sit in your ass. No, George, I'm sick of him gear at sit in your ass. Sit on your ass. Davy, I can fight my own battle. Sit in your own ass. George, sit on your ass. 
No, you sit in your ass and all day with your old shite. Archie, sit on your ass. You sit in your ass. You sit in your ass and I'll sit you on your ass. George, sit, sit on, on your ass. ass. Archie, sit in your ass. Ruby Hen, don't get involved. Sit on your ass. You sit in your ass. Ruby Hen, sit in your ass. Sit in your ass. Ruby, sit in your ass. You sit in your ass. Ruby, sit in your ass. You sit in your ass. Sadie Hen, don't get involved. Sit on your ass. You sit on your ass. Sadie Hen, sit on your ass. Archie, sit on your ass. Sadie, sit on your ass. George, sit on your ass. Ruby, sit on your ass. Sadie Hen, sit on your ass. Archie, sit on your ass. Sadie, sit on your ass. George, sit on your ass. Ruby, sit on your ass. Sadie Hen, sit on your ass. Can everybody please stand for God save the Queen? The Queen! Yes, man. Can he beat a bit of curry and kung fu on a Saturday night? Aye, man. Bit of Bruce Lee and badges, know what I mean? You know, Peter, the great Bruce Lee, right, once said, I fear not the man who's practised 10,000 kicks once, but I do fear the man who's practised one kick 10,000 times, man. Aye? Aye, man. Kinda of talking shite there, wouldn't he? No. I mean, I, I'm afraid of the guy who's practised one kick ten thousand times, but I'm more afraid of the guy who's practised ten thousand different kicks once. Because what can a renegade mad skull would even do something like? That? I mean, anybody who can come up with ten thousand different ways to kick you is a true maverick of violence. I mean, I'm kind of struggling to come up with more than four or five different ways to kick you, Peter. I mean, <sighs> I think now, what have you got? There you go, you're kicking the boys. <clears throat> aye, Peter, that's one. You got your kick in the shins, aye. Right. <clears throat> right. And you've got that kind of you know, that kind of kick to the to the side of the leg. Or oh, the one where the receiver kind of turns to take it on the arse. Aye, right. Aye, that one. Mm -hmm. You've got a uh, we are spinning roundhouse kick, man. Right, man. <laughs> Thought it better not to catch you with that one, Peter. No, I mean just in case. Yeah, you've got your crane kick for the karate kid. <laughs> Aye. Didn't know why I did that to your head. No, I mean in case I took it clean off. Aye, fell does, Peter. Fell does. But I mean, that's pretty much getting towards the full capacity of my kick knowledge here. So a guy who can come up with another nine thousand. 990 odd different ways to kick you as a guy to be feared, Peter. No, no, I, I can't argue with you, man. Like your counter argument to Bruce Lee's philosophy is sound, mate. It's sound. <laughs> You've been practicing that? Just the once, Peter. Just the once. Uh, pint of heavy. Pint of heavy? Get a hold of yourself. What's what my dad used to drink? Give him an aftershock and Red Bull. Yeah, Barky. Right, Jen up, mate, right? What age would you say we were? About 40. But, oh, be serious, mate. Make a fool of yourself. You're with this rig out. With these jeans on, mate. Look at one of my son's pals here. Come on. I'm oh, looking like about 25, man. Like 26 at a push. 27 max, mate. 27 max. I'm no bald, mate. That's what you're hanging. I'm not bald. This isn't bald, mate. That's not bald, then. Do you know what I mean? I shaved this. Just like a 26 year old boy would. No, I mean, by choice, mate. BBC, mate. Bald by choice. See if he was to let that hair grow in. Honestly, he wouldn't look a day older than 23. Honestly, mate. My lassie's like Gary Baldy. Just like your biscuits, mate. Just like your biscuits. Got any use to hurry up? These are taking ages. Never you mind what your age is, your cheeky mare. Oh, 26, 27 max. We're just like you, Saturday night, up at dancing. Des, what have I told you about seeing the dancing? You're making it sound like a couple of old grandas here. We're in a club, mate. We're clubbing. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. The dancing, man. Making it sound like Francie and Josie here or something. 26, 27 max. Who's Francie and Josie? See? You've got me making pure old bastard references now. Right, come on. Get these aftershocks done. Show these lassies that we can put them away like a 26 year old guy, right? Right, here, here. Should we maybe down a couple of rennies first? Because they gave us bad heartburn the last time. Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting you're on your meprazole now. Get her, don't you? I said, get the sounds on. 
Get the sound on. Get the sound on. Get the sound on. Get the sound on. Robin, you're going to say What for Greg, all right? It's fucking murder trying to eat and dip and be a pose at the same time. Know that way? Take a sauce out of the bag at least. Use the heat. Use the heat, aye. The Greg, I look. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's quality police. Officer of the law, we're commandeering your Napa for a Pacora emergency. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Bally Murphy. Fuck away. What a bonus from City, Captain. Nah, anyway. I fucking is, I know. I caught you red handed, you dirty hacking bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not cuffing the captain of my team. He's not breaking any laws here. Ah, he is. Oh, well, what one's well? The fucking. That one. Ain't he a uh, drunken doddery? A drunken disorderly, you mean? No, no, he's a wee bit tipsy, aye, but there's no disorder here. Come on, look at him, man. He disordered out, he's not a dullion. Oh, so I'm taking a 40 for the paper on all, by the way. No, you're bucking, no. McGregor, out of the way. It's not page 340 I'm taking, I don't need a pair of diddies on it. Look, right, right, right. I understand this must be a dream come true for a Burmiston United fan, like yourself. Aye. And I know how much you hate him. I'd hate him and all if he'd shoved my team's treble right up my arse. Aye, all right, McGregor. So, we'll do a deal. I'll let you cuff him for five minutes. What, just handcuffs? No, no, anyway. I bet you all watch players are into all that carry on anyway, the dirty bastards. Right, well, what then? What's it going to take to get this idea of lifting him out of your head? I want to see you pepper him. <laughs> You're a bucking animal. You want me to pepper my hero? Go for it. Get him scooshed or he's going to be on the front page of the Burniston Herald tomorrow. Right, one scoosh. <laughs> Magic, son. I love you. I've loved you ever since you hammered that 20 yarder past that fat arsehole at a Burniston United goalie three years ago. But I'm going to have to scoosh a painful and incapacitating lacrimatory agent into your eyes here. I'm doing it because I love you, man. I'm doing it to save you. No, 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 no. I was doing that to help him. That is police brutality. No, that's not police brutality. This is police brutality. Oh, I pooped me! What are you doing? Get off your nut! Oh, you can't even keep putting me in bounds, McGregor. Oh, oh, here, here. Oh. Get a wee selfie. I mean, magic here. We selfie. Oh, here, magic money. Chance a wee selfie. We selfie. Look up here. Mm. Oh, magic. Say quality, police! It's a calling, yes. But it is a job, and I love it. I mean, I do love a good wedding. Should anyone here present have reason why this couple should not be joined together in holy matrimony, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Me, I know your reason. And? Oh, that's all. Carry on. You're not going to tell us the reason? Well, it's hardly the right time to bring all that up, is it? Yeah, but you did bring it up, so... But I'm not going to get into all the dirty details in the middle of the wedding, am I? I wish I'd forever held my peace now. Well, you can't forever hold your peace after you've already spoken out. Eh, uh, I can start forever holding my peace any time I like. What's the reason? Peace held. Look, is it because... No. I didn't know you did that, you manky, clatty big... Well, that's two reasons I now know of why these two should not be married. I know another reason as well. What's your reason? I'm forever holding my peace. I know three reasons. Easy. I know five, but I'm forever holding my peace. I know half a dozen reasons and one of them sitting right there. And another one's sitting there. And what are those reasons? Well, they've both... Get that peace-held granny. They've both... Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. I've never my peace, Neil. 
Is there anyone here who does not have a reason why this couple shouldn't be married? I forever hold my peace. <laughs> not here. Barry, not here. And here we have some commonly used units of measurement. We have a metre, a foot, inch, centimetre, and ball hair. OK. Bedell and Tolan are ready to go. This will be the biggest MMA fight in Burniston's history. We're ready for your questions. This fight was moved forward by a month. Why are you both so keen to get this fight started? Cos I want to fight him, cos he's, he's a wee baby. I want to punch him in his eye and his nose and his cheeky, cheeky chin. I will. I want to fight you, Baldy. Baldy Bain. I will. Come on and fight me, then. I will fight you this Saturday night in the octopus. It's an octagon, you mad turn up, you. OK, guys, let's keep a lid on this. Um, Tolan, did you find it easy to make weight? Make weight? He couldn't even make a sandwich. I can. No, no, you can't. I can. I make nice sandwiches for my mammy, actually. Well, I make, I make a, a really delicious tuna sandwich, mate, but you can't make one of them. I can. Well, what would you put on it then? A tuna. A, a whole tuna, aye? Aye. A tuna's about the size of a Shetland pony, you mad horse. Well, I'll use a big loaf then, wouldn't I? Oh, mate, you're aye. a big loaf. Check his muscles, you scared now, eh? Aye. Meat peas. Meat, mate. 30 quid a month on protein shakes. Oh, I've built this up in the gym and I was born with it and all. Can you share with us what the purse is for the fight? No, but I can share with you that he's got a purse. No, I don't. Don't read that. Aye, aye, he's like a mad wee granny cutting about the shop and saying there with his wee purse. He's like a wee granny. You're a wee granny grumpling. I said, mate, I'm going to punch you in your wee belly, mate. Give you a right cramp. On you go, then. My wee belly's right here, waiting aye. for you. Aye, I know. I've been looking at your wee belly all day. Just, I can't just, keep my eyes up. I know. Right, let's not give this away for free. Last question. What music will you be entering to on the big night? Eh, well, Tolan will be coming into Agadoobie Blacklace. No, I will They Don't write that down. He'll be coming into... Especially for you, be Kylie and Donovan. Kylie and Donovan? It's Kylie and Jason, you mad thing go into! Well, at least my entrance music isn't it? Here Comes the Bride. Oh, well, if my music is Here Comes the Bride, then that must mean you, you're the groom. You want to marry me? He wants to, he wants to marry me. I wouldn't even kiss you, never mind marry you. Hey, imagine talking about kissing. You want to kiss me? Right, I don't kiss you. See what I don't see what I kiss. I don't kiss you. You're leaving me. He's trying to kiss me. I don't want to kiss you. I don't want to kiss you. I don't you. Uh, well, no. oh, we've all had a good laugh at Mr. Coughlin's fantastical financial policies. But isn't it ironic that while he was at party headquarters trying to fill in the holes in his economic plan, his good wife Marge was out on the town getting her own holes filled in. Yes, filled in by men for the avoidance of doubt. Well now. Well now. Well now, I wonder if Mr Brogue has noticed how he and his wife, the feisty Josephine, like to engage in some very similar behaviour. In what sense? Well, well, he was trying so desperately to put a positive spin on the latest opinion poll, she was having a good spin on my poll. Yes, yes, my meat poll. It must be stated. Well, now. Well, now. Have you no decency, sir? Have you no decency? So full of himself, yes. For a man so unpopular with his own voters that he had to sneak out the back door at his own party conference. But very fitting, I think, that while he was being hounded by the Labour voter, his good wife was getting pounded in the neighbour's motor, yes. A sexual pounding in a Renault Megan is what I am alluding to here, sir. Uh, well, now, uh, well, now, uh, well, now, uh, well, now, uh, 
It seems that once again my right honourable friends of Patterwell has a run completely dry. I refer the honourable gentleman to the slaggins I handed out earlier. Okay, guys, we've got a really special treat for you today. Here to talk to you about road safety is Officer McGregor and Officer Toshin. Yes! It's the police! Yeah! Police, police, police! T-O-F-L! Aye, all right, Toshin, let's wind this nonsense up quickly so we can get down the bookies. Now, the police are your pals. Forget about the fact that we're the reason that half your dads are in the jail. Hands up! Whose dads are in the jail? Oh, it's good. Nobody likes a grass. Now, Toshin, tell our pals exactly how fast a motor would need to be gone to do some seriously gruesome damage to them and their BMXs. Oh, you don't make me do sums here, McGregor. Sums are shite, aren't they, boys and girls? Yes! Are we allowed to say shite, aye? Absolutely not. Oh, come on no, They've all heard the word shite. Can you please just tell the kids about road safety? I'm trying to keep your scants on. <laughs> aye, aye. Don't be laughing about your teacher having scants. Everybody wears scants. I don't. Please, I have a class to teach. Right, road safety. Don't walk out in front of motors. Don't try to cross the road with your eyes shut. Aye, and don't get steaming drunk on a Saturday night and try to stop a taxi by karate kicking it. Any questions? Me man, put that horn down or I'll boot that arm right off your shoulder. No, who wants to see what happens when you shoot somebody right in the tongue with a taser? I thought you didn't want me to shoot you in the tongue with a taser. <laughs> Jeremy has suggested that the new performance criteria is well within the recommended margins. Well, there are one or two action items that remain actionable and we really need to get the needle moving on those as soon as possible. Excuse me! Steve Jobbies! Is this one of the places? Sorry? Is this one of the... Ooh! Let's have a business meeting, Jeremy places! It's a public space. Is this one of the let's Wi-Fi and iPi and interface for well, Jeremy's places? I'm sorry. We can conduct business wherever we like these days. <laughs> Son! Is this or is this no? One of the oh, let's iPi or brown eye and shove up Jeremy's doing everybody's throats places. The trash! Can you be quiet? We're trying to ladder up to our ecosystem here so that we can drill down to a new level of granularity. Granny what? Granularity. Your granny what? Granularity. Your dirty granny did what? Granularity. Detail. Can you leave us in peace to conduct our business? I'll be wiggling my business right out that front door. Any matter of this shit, boy. I'll be road now. I'll be road, Joe. I'll be road now. I'll be road now, Joe. I'll be road now. Let me send a wee email here. Siri, where are we going now here? We are going up the road. Unbelievable. Sorry about that. Incredible. I'm a road. 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 I'm a